Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about traditional TCP, that is fast transmit topic and fast recovery topic. This topic is present in the subject wireless networks. Data transmission. Data transmission refers to the process of transferring data between two or more digital devices. Data is transmitted from one device to another in analog or digital format. Basically, data transmission enables devices or components within devices to speak to each other. Data transmission representation diagram is shown below. Here is a representation here from one device the hello message is transmitted to the other device. This is indicated in this diagram. Here is a representation of data transmission through the internet as shown below. Here we have the data is available in the center. It has to be reached to the receiver through the internet or any transmission medium or a data network. The blue line indicates that data transmission, a red line indicates the data communications and white line indicates the computer communications and this is indicated here. Here is a representation of a reliable transmission diagram. Events are to host one, send message one, it has to reach the receiver that is host 2. As soon as the information reaches the host 2, it has to send acknowledge to the sender that is host 1. Then host 1 sends the next messages. As soon as the packet is lost when the host 1 transmits to the receiver, retransmission timer expires then a retransmit message generated then once again the host one sends the message three and host two sends the acknowledgement three to the host one this is indicated here fast retransmit fast retransmit is a modification to the congestion avoidance algorithm as in jacobson's fast retransmit algorithm when the sender receives third duplicate acknowledgement, it assumes that the packet is lost and retransmit that packet without waiting for a retransmission timer to expire. Causes for fast retransmission TCP fast retransmission occurs when the sender retransmits a packet before the expiration of the acknowledgement timer. Sender receive some packets that sequence number are bigger than the acknowledged packets. Sender should fast retransmit upon a receipt of three duplicate acknowledgements. Congestion window. Congestion window is a TCP state variable that limits the amount of data the TCP can send into the network before receiving an acknowledgement. Together, the two variables are used to regulate data flow in TCP connections, minimize congestion, and improve network performance. TCP uses a congestion window in the sender side to do congestion avoidance. The congestion window indicates the maximum amount of data that can be sent out on a connection without being acknowledged. The inherent assumption in this mechanism is that lack of acknowledgement is due to network congestion. Fast retransmit. TCP may generate an immediate acknowledgement, that is a duplicate ACK, 
when an out of order segment is received. This duplicate ACK should not be delayed. The purpose of this duplicate ACK is to let the other end know that a segment was received out of order and to tell it what sequence number is expected. Since TCP does not know whether a duplicate ACK is caused by a lost segment or just a reordering of segments, it waits for a small number of duplicate ACKs to be received. It is assumed that if there is just a reordering or segments, there will be only one or two duplicate ACKs before the reordered segment is processed, which will then generate new ACK. Fast retransmission representation diagram is shown below. Here is a representation. The sender sends the data to the receiver. The first packet is received, but the second packet is not received by the receiver. At the same time, sender sends the third packet. Now, the receiver sends the acknowledgement one for the first packet. Then consecutively, the receiver sends the three duplicate acknowledgements. Now, the sender notes that the receiver has not received the second packet. So, with the help of that fast retransmission, the second packet is transmitted by the sender to the receiver once again. This is indicated in this diagram. Fast retransmission representation with the help of the congestion window size. Here is a representation. In the initial stage, the congestion window is 1 in the center side. So, the sender sends one segment to the receiver. As soon as the segment 1 reaches the receiver, the receiver sends that acknowledgement 1 to the sender. Meantime, the congestion window is 2 for the sender. Now, the sender sends two segments to the receiver. That is segment 2, segment 3 is received. These two segments reaches the receiver. The receiver sends acknowledgement 2, acknowledgement 3 to the sender. Now, the congestion window size is increased to 4. Therefore, 4 segments is being sent by the sender. Meantime, segment 4 is not reached the receiver. But segment 5, segment 6, segment 7 has reached the receiver. So, 3 acknowledgements is being sent by the receiver to the sender that is duplicate AC case. Now the sender notice that segment 4 is not reach the receiver. So once again the segment 4 is sent by the sender to the receiver. This is indicated in this diagram. Here is the representation of congestion window versus time graph. In this graph we have slow start fast retransmit, timeout, congestion avoidance indication available in this graph. If three or more duplicate ACKs are received in a row, it is a strong indication that segment has been lost. TCP then performs a retransmission of what appears to be the missing segment without waiting for a retransmission timer to expire. Fast recovery. After first retransmit sends the missing segment, congestion avoidance but not slow start is performed. This is the fast recovery algorithm. It is an improvement that allows high throughput and a moderate congestion, especially for large windows. The reason for not performing slow start in this case is that 
The receipt of the duplicate AC keys tells TCP more than just a packet has been lost. Since the receiver can only generate the duplicate AC key when another segment is received, that segment has left the network and in the receiver's buffer. That is, there is still data flowing between the two ends and TCP does not want to reduce the flow abruptly by going into slow start. When the third duplicate ACK in a row is received, set SSTH to one half the congestion window CWND but no less than two segments. Retransmit the missing segment. Set congestion window to set threshold plus three times the segment size. This inflates the congestion window by the number of segments that have left the network and which the other end has catched. Each time other duplicate ACK arrives, increment congestion window by the segment size. This inflates the congestion window for the additional segment that has left the network. Transmit a packet if allowed by the new value of congestion window. When the next ACK arrives that acknowledges new data, set congestion window to SSTH. The value is in step 1. The ACK should be the acknowledgement of the retransmission from step 1, one round trip time after retransmission. Additionally, this ACK should acknowledge all the intermediate segments sent between the loss packet and the receipt of the first duplicate ACK. This step is congestion avoidance since TCP is down to one half the rate it was at when the packet was lost. Here is a graph that indicates window size versus time representation. In this graph, we have slow start, congestion avoidance, fast retransmit, fast recovery, and the slow start indication. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means you can share this video to your friends.